Sabbath Manifesto is this really wonderful just segue to get involved. I mean, for us, nobody in my family has stepped foot in a synagogue in nine decades. And so with Sabbath Manifesto, it made a lot of sense. Time to take a break. Stop the noise and just come back and focus on one's family and um, one's internal life. We hold on. We hold on. Avoid technology. Connect with loved ones. Nurture your health. Get outside. Avoid commerce. Light candles. Drink wine. Eat bread. Find silence. And give back. Installation artist, it gets a little technical sometimes, and certainly I'm like just anybody else with my cell phone and my iPod and computers and whatnot. And um, now with Twitter, my God, I'm like looking at this thing all the time. You know, take a day and just slow down. Be outside, nature, have conversations one-on-one -on -one with directly with the person right in front of you. Unplug. 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 Unplug and avoid technology. The cell phone sleeping bag is this drawstring, warm, hemp-based, soy ink sleeping bag. You insert into the protective casing, draw the string, and you hang it up somewhere, and you forget about it. It was created through a conversation, kind of a brainstorming, how we can approach the problem of the ever-present cell phone. Completely influenced by the women in my family. My grandmother, her sister, Dina, and my Aunt Cecile. You know, they've all passed on, but they were all with me because of, of the four artifacts that I actually have from them. Three of them are things to put things in, little cozies. It was just really thinking about those family members when this idea came. It was, you know, in direct alignment. At this point, upwards, you know, almost 2,000 people have these things in, in their homes. And uh, we've given away about 1,000 of them. About 700 have been purchased in different forms. With a digital detox, it's like giving yourself space with your own spiritual practice. I mean, for me, it's a connection to my ancestors. This is my Aunt Cecile. This is my grandmother, Dina Perlmutter. This is my Aunt Faye, my great Aunt Faye, from her 90th birthday. I can't say I do it every every week. I can't say I you know do it as regularly as I have intended to. But when I do do it, when I do give myself that space, it's really um, incredibly enriching. 